Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is a sad day for Batfleck fans because in a recent interview, Ben Affleck has confirmed that The Flash will be his final appearance as Batman. In today's video, we will be going through exactly what he says and what does it mean in terms of the chances of the Snyderverse. So this is what the IGN article said. Following a very, very, very hard experience filming Justice League with Joss Whedon, Affleck admits that the pressures of the role led to a relapse in drinking, which then led to him pulling out of his planned Batman solo movie. However, he also stated that doing additional photography for Zack Snyder's Justice League, as well as filming scenes for The Flash, put a really nice finish on my experience with that character. He does go on to talk about his time in The Flash film, about how he shot one of his favourite scenes for Batman in that movie but also that he has no idea if they will keep it in. Which sounds very much like a subtle dig at Warner Brothers, because Affleck knows how they like to cut the best scenes from movies. So Affleck has confirmed that The Flash will be his final appearance as Batman, which for me is heartbreaking because he is my favourite Batman. He stated that he left the role in the first place because of the weed and reshoots on Justice League and the pressures of the role that led to a relapse in drinking. There is a lot of pressure that comes with a role such as Batman. There is so much legacy and popularity that the pressure of the role can really overwhelm you, especially with a world that has Twitter. The negativity surrounding him when he first took the role was disgusting, and it is happening again with Robert Pattinson. People are slating him for becoming Batman when they haven't even seen the film, which is completely unfair. The problem is that social media has given toxic people a voice, and that voice can seriously affect someone, and it seriously affected Ben Affleck, and I just hope the same doesn't happen to Pattinson. The combination of the toxic vocal minority on social media, combined with the stress of the Justice League reshoots, was a recipe for disaster. Affleck was a producer on Justice League, and is a director in general, so to see a film that you've worked so hard on, be butchered and meddled with can really be a stressful situation. I honestly couldn't blame him for leaving the role. It seemed he was just surrounded by toxicity when he went to work at Warner Brothers and all over social media. Now I feel the world has kind of grown up in the sense that more people appreciate Batfleck when looking back at his two films. There is far less criticism on him as Batman. Some people do not like the way Batman is presented in Batman v Superman, which is fine. In fact, you're not supposed to like him in Batman v Superman. That's the whole point of his character arc. But back to the main point, the people today seem to have far less of a problem with him being Batman, and many people now actually love him as Batman. I think that is the whole reason why he returned for the Snyder Cut and the Flash. If people still had the mindset they had back in 2015, then he most likely wouldn't have returned at all. He's also in a much better place now. He's happier, and he's healthier, so everything seemed to have just slotted into place perfectly for him to return for these two movies. That being said, his comments do imply that he is done with the role, and that the Flash film is the final time we will see him, which plays even more into the Flash reports that claim that the Snyderverse will be erased in the Flash film. So what does this mean for the Snyderverse? The basics of the Snyderverse is Justice League 2 and 3, and in Justice League 3, Batman was supposed to die. But how would the Snyderverse be restored now? As many of you know, I think when Discovery merge with Warner Brothers, they will change the people in charge, to remove the toxic reputation and environment, and also to create a better managed and organised studio, by improving their cinematic releases and their streaming platform. So, let's create the scenario that Discovery, when merging with Warner Brothers, decide that they want Snyder to come back and finish his Justice League films on HBO Max. The question is, what do we do with Batman? Well, you could go down the very easy path of recasting Batman, bringing in someone who has a very similar build to Ben Affleck. Or, you could try to persuade Affleck to return to the role, like what Snyder did for the additional photography for the Snyder Cut. Snyder could explain to him that the executives who caused all the stress on the reshoots of Justice League were gone, and that there would be no studio meddling whatsoever. If Affleck didn't want to wear the Batman suit anymore, 
they could easily bring in Richard Sutrone, his stunt double for Batman v Superman and parts of Justice League, to be the one wearing the Batman suit. And so Ben Affleck would basically be playing Bruce Wayne and would voice Batman. They could also use close-up shots of Ben Affleck wearing the Batman cowl, so we could at least see him as Batman in a way. But whenever we see a body shot, it is Richard. So that is one way they could do the Justice League sequels. What I want to get across is that I do not want to promote pressuring Affleck to return. He says he is done with the role, and we should respect that. But what I'm also saying is that he has done this before, and returned for Snyder, and like I just said, there are ways to get around it. The plan was also to shoot Justice League 2 and 3 back to back, so he wouldn't be waiting years in between both films to shoot his scenes. Realistically, he could shoot all his scenes within three months, for both Justice League 2 and 3. Also, I am sure Snyder has talked to Affleck when doing the additional photography for the Snyder Cut about coming back in the future, and I'm also sure that Snyder wouldn't keep on teasing and encouraging us to keep on pushing for the Snyderverse if he didn't think it was possible. He has literally said that we shouldn't lose hope for the Snyderverse to happen. He knows more than us, and he also knows that the Discovery merger can change everything. There is a reason why he keeps on posting pictures about his DC films. It's the exact same thing he did with the Snyder Cut. He is trying to reinstall the hope and hype for the Snyderverse. So, not only do I think the Discovery merger can change everything, Snyder does too. And I don't think he would push for it unless he had planned everything that was going on. So, he would know if Affleck wants to return or not, and is still encouraging us to keep on pushing. There is a reason for that. Also, Affleck is leaving the DCEU, where the toxic environment is. Snyder won't return unless the executives who made his, Ray Fisher's, and Ben Affleck's lives hell are removed from Warner Brothers, or are at least blocked away from his projects. I'm sure Affleck knows that Snyder would only return under very clear demands, and those demands I think are likely to happen. The executives who made their lives hell are also the ones making the terrible decisions right now. Discovery will see that, and I think they will clear house and start again, making a studio that is more efficient and safe for creators and actors to work. Honestly, I think this is a huge overreaction from fans. The more and more I think about it, the more I feel that there is still a huge chance that the Snyderverse can happen. Things are happening behind the scenes, and we shouldn't give up now. Please, if you want the Snyderverse to happen, do not give up now. Please give it at least until the end of the year. That would mean Discovery would be in charge for around six months, and that is when we will start to see some serious changes. If, by that time, nothing seems to be happening, then I will fully understand you wanting to give up on the Snyderverse. I won't support it, or join you in that belief, but I completely understand why. But please understand that Zack Snyder, the person who knows more than any of us in this situation, has said not to lose hope, who has hinted multiple times at his Justice League sequels, and who has secretly met with Warner Brothers in early 2020 to discuss releasing the Snyder Cut, while still building the hype for the Snyder Cut without us knowing that it was going to be released anyway. Negotiations could be happening as soon as the Discovery merger finalises. Heck, for all we know, Snyder could have had a meeting with Zaslav about his Justice League sequels and why he left Warner Brothers in the first place already. The same goes for Christopher Nolan. Zaslav is a smart guy, and I'm sure he will be trying to rebuild broken relationships that Warner Brothers have caused, as well as researching why people have distanced themselves from the company and researching what is in demand. So, if you want the Snyderverse, now is the worst time to give up. This is when they will be listening. In a year's time, if nothing happens, then we will know that they have decided against it, unless Snyder says something about it. But, for this next year, please do not give up. There is still a huge chance that this can happen, and us fans need to show the demand. But that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. Hope to see you here again soon. So until then, have a great day. Bye.